Hello everybody. Welcome to this new channel focused on artificial intelligence videos. Today, we're gonna install a local large language model in a Mac machine, specifically uh, Apple Silicon uh, Mac M1 or M2 uh, Macs. So you might have um, used ChatGPT and other large language models already and you also might have heard that there are open source uh, large language models like uh, Facebook's uh, Llama and uh, Falcon and so many other open source models that are out there. There's also a project uh, called Llama.cpp which is an open source project uh, which has been really popular um, in, uh, uh, in terms of installing local large language models and making it work in a, uh, you know, a personal computer, right, like a Mac. So in this video, we'll use a, a model supported by this project, Llama.cpp, to create a local chat GPT like chat interface. So let's get started. And before I start really quickly, this is a new channel called AI.CloudYeti. The name might change, but if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. So we'll start by looking at this project really quickly. So this is um, a project called Llama.cpp, very popular on GitHub, as you can see, uh, 30,000 um, stars and 4,000 forks. The reason I made this video is, you know, some people like watching videos to install these uh, kind of projects and you know try out these kind of projects and I was uh, having some trouble myself uh, getting this set up and I came across this guide uh, a text-based guide uh, that I followed to install um, uh, Llama on Mac I'll be linking this guide uh, in the description below but I wanted to make a video so that whoever prefers watching a video can you know look at my video and you know uh, install this on their Mac so let's Start by step number one, right, which is install Homebrew on your Mac. I've already done this on my machine, but you know, if you run these two commands, uh, Homebrew will be installed on your Mac. And then you install the required packages uh, for this project. Uh, so you copy the command, and then I install the required packages. So all the packages have been installed on my machine. So let's move on to step number three, which is to clone llama.cpp project into your um, Mac, right? So let's clone this package. The next step is to go inside the folder and run the make command, which will install some of the dependencies. So copy should be fairly quick. Let me clear the screen. The next step now is to download the the Llama model. And just to give you some context, uh, Facebook initially released the Llama model just for researchers, but the weights have been leaked and there's been a bunch of different implementations of uh, open llama like models um, and this project supports a bunch of different models so um, you know we can work with uh, a lot of different models so I'm gonna go to huggingface.co and search for llama um, and the first result you'll see is the uh, one that is most popular among users so I'm gonna click on this model and inside files and versions, um, you'll see a bunch of different files. Now, what you should be doing is download each of these PyTorch model files. In this implementation, there are 33 PyTorch files, so download all of them, and download the special tokens map.json and tokenizer.model. Once you download all of that, we can move on to the next step. Now, let's look at the project folder in our GUI. Right now the models folder is uh, basically empty. There's only one file 
what you want to do is create a 7b folder um, and move all of the downloaded files into this folder so you go inside the folder and the files that you downloaded earlier goes inside this folder so step four is complete that's all you need to do um, now step five is to uh, make sure you have Python 3.10 and then install a virtual environment and install some of the packages required And we come to step number six, which is gonna convert the model files we downloaded earlier into GGML format. Now, GGML format is a format created by the author of this uh, Lama.cpp project. So that's the first step we'll do. So copy this command, go to the terminal and paste this command. And you see something like this, right? This is converting the model to GGML format. be done pretty quickly and the next step is to quantize the model to 4-bit now in simple terms quantization is a technique to reduce the precision of the model weights and that will make the models faster and smaller right so we're quantizing this model to 4-bit using this command There we go. Should be fairly quick. And the next step is to do a test run, right? So we're ready to run this model. So copy this command and enter this in your terminal. And you'll see something like this, right? It should start outputting some random text. Um, the text will not be the same in your case because every time I run this I get a different uh, text But it should output something like this, right? Uh, something random. So if you see something like this, then everything has been done properly So congratulations, everything looks good <laughs> if you see something like this Now comes the interesting part, right? The, the part that you've been waiting for um, and really quick, if you want to install a bigger model, you can search for model files for 30 billion parameters and 65 billion parameters if your device, if your machine supports these models. Uh, yeah, just making a note of that before we move on to running the chat implementation, right, for this model. So run this command. And you'll see a chat-like interface that you can use now right um, you'll see there's user and there's bog which is our uh, chat model and there's already been some priming to this conversation right hello bob hello how may i help you today please tell me the largest city in europe and the ai model says sure the largest city in europe is moscow the capital of russia Right, so now we can ask some questions and let's see how the model um, works, right? So tell me, tell me the largest city in the world. The largest city in the world is Tokyo, the capital of Japan, this sounds right. Now let's ask largest city in USA. New York, that is also right, right? Now you can ask anything you want, uh, give me code for a uh, hello yeah it gave me the uh, code for hello world which is uh, exactly right you know that's all we need for a hello world Python okay now it also gave me instructions to run that program so yeah you know it it is working the local large language model is installed and working properly in our machine
Now, obviously, if you use larger models like 30 billion and 65 billion, uh, you might get better responses. Obviously, they will be a bit slower, um, but this is it, guys. We have installed a large language model in our local machine, in a Mac machine. Uh, once again, I'll be pasting the link to this tutorial that I'm following. Hopefully, you found this video useful. If you like this tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be making more videos like this in the coming days and coming weeks. If you have any suggestions for what videos I should make next, post them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy your local large language models. Goodbye.